can Audacity be used as a professional DAW? Let's find out. Well, first of all, Audacity is free. So it's a great learning platform if you're just getting into DAWs or DAWs. Uh, for those of you who are uninitiated and wondering what on earth I'm talking about with DAWs, no, I'm not talking about the things you use to enter your house. I'm talking about digital audio workstation. So yes, Audacity is a very competent digital audio workstation. Not only can you go ahead and edit multiple pieces of music and dialogue and put in sound effects and do all that cool stuff, it works, it's free, and it's a great way to get started. Point number two is that most pro plugin companies have plugins that are compatible with Audacity. This is great if you like Isotope, if you like Waves, if you like any kind of plugin that you want to use to manipulate the voice to make it sound better, make your audio more stereo, add a bit of reverb, add some echo, add some delay. It's all possible inside Audacity by going into the VST or AU, audio units of your Mac, plugin section in the menu and selecting your favorite plugin. So yeah, Yes, not only can you use the editor as a professional DAW, but you can also use some really top-end, high-quality plugins to make your audio sound even better. And my third favorite thing about Audacity is that you can use many of the effects you'd find in much more expensive pieces of software, albeit they're a little bit clunkier to use. Like, for instance, the EQ, equivalent to parametric EQ, it's called filter EQ in Audacity, uh, is usable, but you have to draw on points and it's a bit not cheap and Strange and other editors like Logic and Audition do it smoother and you have to keep previewing each time you make a change rather than in real time, but that's okay because Audacity is free. It's got compression, it's got noise gates, all of this stuff is integrated as standard. So certainly if you want to get started and maybe get your feet wet with effects and editing, Audacity seems like it's a pretty good way to go. Now let's take a look at some negatives. Number one, the preview of effects is slow. As I alluded to in my third pro point, it's actually really easy to start using the effects, but it's not so easy to preview them. One of my pet peeves about Audacity is you cannot preview sound effects in real time. So if you're doing some EQ of a voice or a piece of music, or if you're editing something and you want to make it sound better with compression, you will have to make the changes, then hit the preview button. Uh, and that can cost you a little bit of time. Multitrack editing is far more superior in other DAWs, like for instance Adobe Audition. I love editing in the multitrack over in Audition. In Audacity, it is possible, it's just a bit slower and, well, it's just not quite my experience when I'm working fast with multiple editing clips. I really want to go fast and jiggle things and move things around and add crossfades really, really quickly. You can do it, it just takes you longer in Audacity, but as a free app, it's absolutely fine. And finally, spectral view is just not as intuitive as it is in Adobe Audition. In Audition, I can really fine tune and select parts of the spectral frequency display and really dial in on certain frequencies in the audio I'm editing. In Audacity, it is there. It's available for you as the spectrogram option under each separate track, but it's far harder to use. There's not as much detail, uh, so that could hold you back from doing advanced things such as noise reduction and restoration. Anyway, what do you think? Let me know your pros and cons. Are you using Audacity as a professional DAW? Are you a professional podcast editor? Are you a music producer using Audacity? And if so, what do you like about it? What do you dislike? Let me know in the comments down below. And also, make sure to go watch my voice editing tips video. It's somewhere on the screen here. Uh, I think you're really going to enjoy it if you're just getting started with Audacity.